Hi, my name is Todd Swank and I'm the Vice President of Marketing at Nortec. And Nortec is a manufacturer of high performance computing solutions including HPC clusters, GPU clusters, high end storage servers, high end graphics workstations, and pretty much any uh, product that a customer would want to buy. And today I'm here with our Vice President of Engineering, Dom Daniger, to talk about some of the uh, interesting projects we've been working on in the month of December 2011. Dom? Yeah, so I'll just uh, go through uh, one by one what, uh, what's unique about the uh, various systems we have in production right now and uh, what they're doing. That's, that's always kind of interesting, at least I find it interesting, particularly in the high performance field, but uh, a lot of it's leading edge science. And Anybody that's fascinated by science or innovative technology usually uh, finds that interesting. Uh, first off, uh, we've got uh, a cluster that we're uh, in the process of building for the University of Minnesota. It is uh, going to be in doing uh, computational fluid dynamics, a lot of that centering around the wind turbine industry and increasing the efficiencies of wind turbines. Another unique thing about this cluster, it's our first uh, based on AMD's new Optron 6200 series, the Interlagos. Uh, what's been challenging about the Interlagos is that it requires an extremely new operating system in order to support some of the special instruction sets that have been introduced here with Interlagos. So uh, it's been a challenge uh, working with extremely new kernels. Um, we are uh, uh, using the Werewolf operating system on this, or Werewolf cluster management and uh, it uh, has caused us to have to break some new ground here. Also incorporates uh, quad data rate and FinaBan and uh, some other uh, things like, uh, interesting things like that. Another project we've got in house is for MIT. Um, it's uh, one of a whole series of clusters we've built for MIT. That is uh, Intel Xeon based uh, quad data rate and FinaBan. And it's going to be used uh, relate, in work related to the pharmaceuticals industry. And that uh, specifically, uh, the projects there are related to extending the shelf life of pharmaceuticals, something that can benefit all of us. Another cluster we have in house is also based on Intel Xeon CPUs, is for Syracuse University. And it uh, is running the ROCKS cluster management system. It's a hybrid cluster. It has CPUs and GPUs. Uh, the GPUs are uh, the NVIDIA Tesla series. The CPUs are the uh, Intel Xeons. Quad data rate and FenaBand. It's uh, been used for physics research. That's part of another project that we did for them earlier, didn't we? Build Correct. a very large Correct. GPU yeah. cluster for them for earlier. The, this year? For the, uh, again, for physics, uh, specifically for the LIGO project which is the uh, hunt for gravity waves, of which we've uh, done a lot of work. We've probably done uh, nearly eight clusters for that particular project. So yet another uh, system that we're uh, building in-house here, uh, another one for Syracuse University, and this is going to use a bright computing cluster management system. It's Intel Xeon based. It's also a hybrid uh, where it has both CPUs and GPUs in it, and it also will have quad data rate and FinaBand, and it's going to be involved in earth sciences. Now one of the unique things about this cluster is we've uh, done dual mirror drives even in the compute nodes, uh, because the nature of the work that this cluster is going to do is it will have runs that can last over six months in time. So from the time they start the job until they get their answer back, it could be up to six months or more. So we need a really solid hardware base with a lot of reliability and redundancy, all of which we've built into this cluster. So another thing that's kind of unique and different. And the, the bright computing cluster management software, that's right. the real up-and-comer right now, right? Right. Uh, it's been uh, adopted by Boeing, for example. It originated out of Holland, and uh, it's been in existence about seven years or something like that. It's only been in the U.S. about two years, but it, uh, it's Linux-based, but it has uh, uh, got an awful lot of GUI support. 
so a graphical user interface support. So, uh, you know, it, it uh, is a commercial product, so it's not a completely open source product, but it, uh, it does make it easier for a lot of users to use. So, uh, and uh, it's uh, a very powerful setup. It's got a lot of options and a lot of configuration capability. So it makes it an interesting product to work with and use. Uh, lastly, we've got a commercial uh, cluster, uh, one of a whole series that we've built for one of the uh, United States-based major aircraft manufacturers. Uh, they're finding some huge uh, productivity increases by doing more and more simulation work in their engineering and aircraft design. And uh, they've, uh, they're owned by one of the major defense contractors. And uh, that defense contractor is, is just pouring uh, hundreds of millions of dollars of uh, development money into this particular manufacturer. And a lot of that is being used to fund things like uh, HPC. And it's uh, uh, whatever it can do for benefits to their engineering efforts. So that, that one is a Xeon based uh, cluster. Uh, we are doing the burn in for it, the actual cluster management software will be installed at the customer site by the customer. Uh, it's a uh, quad data break in Fenaband and uh, it is uh, just purely Intel Xeon based. So. And you said that the customer's going to do the installation on this one, but that's kind of unusual, right? Don't we it, typically it, do the installation here? It is unusual. Our, uh, Core customer or client typically is a research scientist who is not a computer scientist. He is trying to get his job done, be it physics or, or uh, uh, biological work or different things like that. Probably knows how to use a cluster, but he may not be familiar with how to write scripts, or how to queue things, how to run a resource manager and a job manager and that kind of thing. So oftentimes we'll assist them and, and uh, let them uh, uh, have remote access to the cluster while it's here, let them test it, uh, teach them how to use it, and uh, they can get their software and their data loaded on it and running. So they're very comfortable with it when it uh, arrives at their doorstep and it's a simple matter of putting it uh, in uh, their facility connecting the power and the network to it, and it can be up and running and in production that same day. Wow. So, I bet they really appreciate that. They love it. It gives them what we call the warm and fuzzies. <laughs> Very cool. Well, it sounds like you and the team and the North Tech Tech Room have been quite busy this month. Very busy. That's Very a good busy. thing. And uh, we're looking forward to the bigger things in 2012. That's right. We'll be back at you later to talk uh, about that uh, when, uh, when the projects are in-house. That sounds fantastic, Dom. I really appreciate your time today. Once again, it's Dom Daniger, Vice President of Engineering at North Tech. And I'm Todd Swank, Vice President of Marketing for North Tech. And if there's ever anything we can do to help you out, please uh, check out our website at www.nortech.com. That's N-O-R-T-E-C-H.com. Or give me a call. My number is 877-808-7438. And I'll make sure to uh, connect you with one of Dom's team or to one of our uh, cluster sales specialists. So thanks so much and hope you have a great day. Thank you.